It's an ever-changing world. So where can we get original perspectives? Hear about different experiences. Find common ground. In a maze of headlines and sound bites, the most revealing conversations happen one-on-one. -on -one. And this trip really, perhaps more than anything in Che Guevara's life, was what formed him as a revolutionary? I mean, do you think that this is what formed him as a revolutionary? I would say it, it was the beginning. His later trip really formed him, because his later trip, you know, he was in Guatemala during, right after the coup. Mm -hmm. He ended up in Mexico. He met his first uh, wife, who was a Marxist. He met Fidel, he met Raul. And that was the trip that really changed him. This, this trip, uh, the first one, was really the, do the opening of a, of a door. But he didn't pass through that door to the later trip. I wish you could see some of these women who have been doing the show and doing you know, V-Day for maybe five years. They're fierce, and they're loving, and they're funny, and they're sexy, and they're alive, and, and they're into pleasure, and, and, and they're running for office. And they're, you know, and, 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 and they're, they're coming into power in a whole new kind of way. So at age nine was my first encounter with the night sky at the Hayden Planetarium. And growing up in New York City in the Bronx, my understanding of the night sky was like a couple of stars. And, the, so, so and lots of planes. Planes, yeah. So there's no way this, I could commune with the cosmos in the Bronx. So I reached the age of nine before I ever had any understanding of what the true night sky was like. And it was that first day in the Hayden Planetarium. The lights dimmed, the stars came out. And it was as though the universe had poured, flowed into my body and coursed through my veins, and I felt it. So I, to this day, I think to myself, it's not that I chose the universe. It may be, in fact, that the universe chose me. Um, have you seen Billy Elliot, for example? Blind casting must exist for that role, for that lead role. Right. Because it's so hard to find a boy who can do all those things with having that skill set. And to restrict it to a certain ethnic group is, you know, it's, you're just basically centering on, okay, he has to be white to play this role when there are so many other talented kids who could very well do it. So I think they opened that role to whomever could play it. It's, it's harder for females uh, to become directors um, than it is for, for, you know, a minority. And I remind, you know, Native people all the time, it's like, it can't be difficult. You just gotta get up and do it. <laughs> 